Chandler Cox, the motion man. Stidham takes a step forward. Now floats one to Whitlow down the sideline. Whitlow cuts it back, middle of the field. Touchdown, Auburn, Jatarvius Whitlow, his longest catch of the season. Indiana, Jones. Watford for the win. Yes! Oh! Yes! Oh! Oh! Ezekiel Elliott. And he's got an opening. Elliott off to the races. Can they catch him? No, they can't. Touchdown. Hill on the toss. Great move. Oh, hit him with the sauce. Touchdown, Mississippi State. These kind of drives, they're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Taken at the five. He's out to the 30. He got hit hard. around to hold it underneath the inside receiver. He's got it. Watch behind you. Good hands. Collins avoids it. Brooks got a three. So One strong. out of two for Diabate. Let's check in with Jamie. Yeah, Hunter Dickinson sat on the bench away from the team during that last time out for an unusual amount of time for a big man. No Devontae Jones. He's been ruled out for this second half. Bounce it. Diabate, quick move, and he gets the roll. Frankie Collins, who didn't have a senior year of high school because of COVID, his season was canceled. Dickinson lines it up. Bottom! Hunter Dickinson is in the zone. Dribble drive, Whoa. and Collins goes down. He couldn't finish it. You'll see some of those balls hit the net. Tough serve by Alec. Four steps in, pushes it out to Batenhorst. Batenhorst found that back line. Nice touch there by Alec. Yeah, it's good vision, too. She's trusting her teammates, telling her what's open. Shane, it's not easy to do. That's a nice set for Kennedy to get it all the way out there, but. Out of Lincoln, sixth overall recruit in the country. And on the slide, Allie Batehorst is there for the block. Alice, she's going to really do a nice job of pushing that ball off. We are underway from St. Louis. Here's coming off of a last second win against UCF. Good cut, but the layup doesn't go for Mizzou. And Ronnie DeGray, the third, who's inserted into the starting lineup by first year head coach Dennis Gates. And watching, and watching the defense early from the line, I'm man to man. They will switch, switch things. You can't miss easy buckets when you got a chance. This is a new look Illinois team, very young, 8 and 3 overall, 0 and 2. Already two Big Ten games under their belt. Melendez from the corner off the top of the backboard, and Nick Goddard tracks it down. Push ahead, and Deboy Hodge puts it in. Stocko hit as he throws, and it's back to bring pressure here. Nope, they got the return set up this time. Reggie Fish back pedals to the 40. And Fish. Got across the 45 to about the 47 yard lines at their own 47 yard line. Darren McFadden, the single setback, and he'll get the call here on first down. McFadden. And Wisconsin's waiting for him. Zalewski with a tackle. Casey Dick took the other seven series. Here's a pitch. Jones, Jones to the corner and bumped out of bounds right at the midfield stripe. Anyway, he won with the Knicks. I just feel, I'm a little biased. I love Rick's enthusiasm, teaching ability. And I just think at a collegiate level, he could build, he would have built something at Kentucky just like Mike Krzyzewski did at Duke, Dean Smith did at Bobby Knight at their respective schools. I really believe that. Difference of four seconds, 15 to shoot. Rear. Across to Billet, got it up over Dupay. Right. 
understand the defensive responsibilities yet to be successful for Virginia, but both these guys can fill it up. Franklin down low, Caden Shitterick, the big fella. Murray scored at least 20 in every game. Toussaint, the primary ball handler, and there is Bohannon on cue. Career three-pointer number 380. Deep to receive for the Terps. Still has some space. Still to the left, looking for a block. He's going to take it all the way. No flags. Touchdown, Maryland. 91 yards, and how about that? Mulcahy lost it for McConnell. Wake Forest struggling to get the ball across half court, and it leads to this. And that's a careless pass. One thing you got to understand. This can be tough sometimes. Shot clock at seven. Tisha Hyman knocks down the three. The redshirt sophomore transfer. Murray puts it on the floor, loses the dribble, and quickly in transition up to J.C. Sheldon. Wide open for two. And once again, quickly in transition down low to Mikula Shapova. Puts it up and in. Might have a... Uh, and a flat tire there, has to fix her shoe. It's one of the first times that Leslie's touched the ball twice in a possession. Now let's pay attention to that because that's a big, big thing. You don't score on the ball side post feed. You score on a post feed after the ball's been reversed a couple of times. Ball side, one side post feed, 33%. Reverse it, get it, get it to the post, 67 to 70%. Burke is fouled by Brown. When you're good, you can go up against a bigger, stronger guy as long as you keep your chin on the rim and get it over the front of the rim and score. And Leslie is the best pure player out here on the floor. He doesn't always play the best, but he's the Hold it, what a dig by Fairbanks. The block by Purdue. Vasquez Gomez sends it over. Newton, point, Boilermakers. Newton will not go away quietly. We've seen that from her all tournament long. One of many on the floor. Up those charts. Hubbard does such a good job finishing her shot. She stays put, knocks it down with the free throw. I don't like when coaches tell you to follow your shot. No, finish your shot and make threes. Three for five from three in this game. Us be going to work with the spin. Will not be denying her miss. Goes back up to work, and the Gophers prevent another opportunity. Nine to two is Minnesota's run as they get back. The offensive board squandered. Swartz, leading score tonight for Georgia Tech. Leaning in and drawing the foul. And a chance at the three-piece. Swartz got there a lot more than I did. But it's not a great day to be a hitter. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe for seven huh? innings. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're going today in Tuscaloosa at 2.30 Eastern time. Yeah, and I look at that matchup. That could be like a preview of a super regional type right? matchup. I mean, this matchup could be a super regional matchup too. I, I mean, that's what's really cool about preseason softball is we could see these teams play each other down the road in the Women's College World Series in a regional. Stewart. Davis creating on the baseline. Got it. Nice move. How good is Jonathan Davis going to be? Man, what a half for Wisconsin. You had triple crown winners all over the place. I mean, yeah. Secretary was, what, 73 or 74. Seattle Slough was right before that. We're starting on Friday from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. Wire took it away. Hurt gets it back after the Desumu block. This is a top five hair team. No doubt. Good play. Cut to the basket. Gold wire and one. Riley gets a nice block. And to the 20 to 25 yard line, and the flag is down. At the 33 of Florida State. Time recently to stop.
three. Five-man rush comes for Boston College. And there's an NFL throw from Hackenberg to Geno Lewis. Good for a first down. That's a gain of 12. And a nice route by Lewis. And so you're going to try to work the defender to the top side and then come back. You have a key Lynch underneath. Lewis comes back off the defender. And the ball's right where it's supposed to be. Hackenberg slants the other way. Again, it's Gino Lewis. You know, we talked to John Donovan. Portland and the uh, hometown pilots right before our game here, Corey. You and I were both in the building. They took Michigan State down to the wire and had a shot at the buzzer, a, a good shot that could have won it. They almost took the Spartans out. Speak for yourself. I wasn't here yet. I was watching the overtime of North Carolina. And <laughs> I left the hotel Alabama. after the third overtime with Carolina. You stayed through the whole thing. I got in the shower to get dressed to come over here on the goaltending call that was overturned oh. and ended up. And the craziest part was, I didn't know what happened. I thought the game was over. Coots, who had a great game against Baylor in their last outing. Smith will throw it again. Has a man at the 20-yard line. Caught there. Bradley. They will spot him out just inside the one-yard line. Some more passing yardage going. He's able to look off to safety. Thanks afterwards, and we got guys going nose to nose. And that building was 70 30 Georgia fans. Kind of felt like a home field for him. That went away quickly. Here's a big run for John Trey Kirkland. And he takes it past the 45 on a 15-yard scamper by the quarterback slash wide receiver. Just a zone read, defensive end, you know, clamps down, but the ability to make somebody miss in the open. Guys have not always been talking about him, though. The cameras haven't always been there. He continues to work on his craft wow. year in and year out. He did the other win the national championship. They beat Kansas at Kansas by 20 plus points. Defense, defense, defense. That's the trademark, and that's why this club is right now in pretty good shape here. Yeah. Right. 12. Leaning in for two. Texas had gone a long time in between baskets, over five minutes at one point. Get three. Good coverage. McCullough coming over to double team, and Shibway turns it over. Wilson ties it. Anytime there's a turnover, missed shot. Kansas excellent in transition. Boy, look at Kentucky getting down the floor. Chris Livingston lays it in. Relatively local. And here we go in the Academy Sports and Outdoors Texas Bowl. Anaya Smith, the terrific freshman, runs it back for Texas A&M and is taken down. Lumrick, a converted quarterback, is the backup at that position. Ma, that a quarterback keeper, gets blasted from behind and the ball is out. On the second play of the game, it's an Oklahoma State takeaway. Frogs with a shot. Lundy with a stretched out shot in there again right on the... Auburn keeper, really no need to move. And again, another one right through the five hole, and uh, and got it, got him down when he was playing up. Lineup, and Robertson is on a one-out walk. Crowd on its feet, struck him out. Gaddis with a big K. Has looked a little bit better than it did in the third and the fourth. That makes you feel a little bit better. Elevated fastball, down a few ticks from what it was early. He was 96, 97. That one's still 93, but good enough. One two pitch. Back at Horton, up the middle into center. A one out base hit for TJ McCants. Tying run aboard for Ole Miss. How about the day from Cade Horton? He exits with a lead in the eighth inning in Omaha. Michael's 0 1, McCants goes, and it's lined in the right field, a base hit. McCant speeds to third and gets a stop sign there and is 90 feet away from tying this game. His last two trips. With time. Lex 
lets it go. He's got three people down there. The ball's up in the air. Caught. Touchdown. Caught by Westbrook for a touchdown. Incredible. We play on. It remains set point. With a hammer. Hannah Clayton closes the door on set. No. Paige Miller off the bench and Stanford just knocks it out of bounds. Lappy is pushed down. Sierra Angi, the redshirt senior, Pacific Ridge High School in California. They went for it before on fourth down. I expect them to go for it again. So fourth down and goal at the one yard line. Ohio State quickly to the line of scrimmage. Guyton. Hall, touchdown, Buckeyes. Line of scrimmage. Play action, pressure coming. Daniels gets out of the grasp initially and then is slung down back at pass. Skyler Bell with a passing touchdown and a couple of rushing touchdowns in their bowl win over Wake Forest. Been a bit of a roller coaster ride this year, though, for Graham. Trying to end it on a positive from Jake Ferguson. Thorne goes through his progression deep. Caught! Touchdown! Michigan State! Mosley! Good pass. Hawkins yep. Jr. Knocked down. What a pass by a Dem Bona, the big man inside. He doesn't have many, but Three he, and, points. He, and, he and Clark have affected the game without scoring. Shannon step back. Three oh, ice. that is just yep. tough. Terrence Shannon Jr. He leads the way for Illinois. He's got 14. Cards, 413. And Jared Sigel connects from 33 yards, and he will kick it off. And a very high kick, but it will be returned. Bennett, some space. Bennett makes a move, and Bennett could go. Bennett to the 40, no flags. Bennett to the 20, all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Indiana. <laughs> and inside. I, I see they're Fox. a little bit passive. Do you see the yeah, little passive? Seem a little slow to the draw. They weren't at the beginning of the ball game, but they have. Definitely slowed down, and now Arizona matches its biggest lead. They're up by four again. Dixon had an open shot, and Anderson came out to meet him. Arizona moving their feet well in that defense. And Dixon lost the handle and ended up in a double team. Blake wide open, way outside though, and missed it. Dixon, second chance, got it. Good baseline jump shot by Dixon. Meister tucks it into the corner. Sanders slips and will try to track it down. Dangerously bouncing around inside the five, and it's covered at the three. Then he cuts all the way back against Chris Hawkins and then shows you the speed to take it to the end zone. Yeah. They just try to bring some pressure. McSorley steps up, takes a downfield shot for Godwin, who makes the catch and will scamper for a touchdown. Off the field. Second and six. Delivers to Rogers. You're a beast, Pam. <laughs> that just tipped the bottom of the net for Ben Duyaney, again, a Portland native who played her first four years at Arizona, coming back to her home state, has missed all eight of her shots. Underway with set one. Shaft Master will serve it up. Washington State. And that's going to be a point for the U of M right off the bat. And the Cougars will pick up the point. Huseman comes out of the game. CC McGraw back in for the Gophers. Oh, I don't know if that was planned, Mary.
And welcome into the Bob Devaney Sports Center along with Kathy Wieskamp. I'm Larry Putney. Good to have you with us here in Lincoln for round two of NCAA Tournament Volleyball. Find that deep corner and did it again. Just being aggressive, and I love it. She goes up there, no hesitation, and strong move. Hit back in for that sec that swing, really making her do a lot of things. From off the net, a little collision in the back row there. And Cubic put it away. The field goal team came out. <laughs> right. I had lost track of the last 30 seconds. What a way to start the second half. Remember they had the false start to go to first and 15 on the first play. Six plays. Dalton, sort of a busted play. Tucker is his running back side, Dalton. Fires for the first down. Diving forward as the distance for the first down. Texas doing a nice job here coming out. Tino Ellis on that first play. He was about. sack John Wagner the senior from Des Moines and it'll be a three and out as Tyler Perkins gets set to punt it away and it's blocked it's scooped up at the 22 and oh, by Stevenson oh, he is a two-way player the ninth all-time meeting between these two programs. He went 7-1 last night in 2013. Stevenson again. High formation, double tight end set. They'll send pain in motion again. Penix left side inside the five-yard line down to the three before he's brought down by Brock Stratton. Minnesota is doing a great job of controlling the... Ryan Broyles. I, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Fourth of four games coming up right after this one. Pendergast stopped up short of the first down and short of the line of scrimmage. Fletcher Cox once again. The imposing junior in the middle. No gain on the play. Led the team with four sacks this year. Three-man line, 94, lined up on the tight end. Kahia down low for Drummond. Seven to shoot. Out wide for Bell for three. Rachel Bell. I've done a decent job valuing the basketball in this first period. In intercepted. It's intercepted by Dexter Jackson. And Jackson comes back out to the 20. Three yard line. Should have caught the ball and he hit him right in the chest in Absolutely. the back. The ricochet. Travis Miner. It's game changer. It's a shovel pass in the middle and battling his way to the end zone. ETN for a second time. Tigers on fire. <laughs> Mullen makes the interception. Lawrence gets the ball back. Eight plays. Big home game for NC State. A non-conference battle against number 25, Missouri. Mark Gottfried's team comes in 9-2. First half, TJ Warren starts strong. In the lane for two. He can pretty much score any way he wants. Watch the spin move. 
NC State leading by four. Warren tries again, loses the ball, but Jordan Vandenberg there to clean up the mess. <laughs> Tyrus Thomas in the first half and delivered 10 points off the bench has returned for LSU out of bounds to the Tigers and Daryl Mitchell will play it in. LSU trying to screen Davis down into that low post. Tasman Mitchell, who led the LSU with eight rebounds the first half. Davis able to pull his way inside. The matchup, Bill. We got three good ones. time. Just getting him back to the comfort and where he can be examined and sit down. Wow. And they're short already. Uh, you know, Trace mentioning pain. Capitalize! Hey, Twelve points for Castleton. Eight coming in this half. Nine rebounds. Maloney's got what they want. I think they get him inside. Nice. Yeah, that's what they do. Step and go. Good. And Arkansas leads 38-33. Make it 38-35. Both teams are doing a good job. Pretty good job defensively, matching up. Off the glass. Derry could. We're seeing some great aggressive. Arkansas closing the gap on the boards, 24 now for and Gold to Dempsey to Cunningham, 4-6-3, and Auburn only gets one. Our bouncer, fair ball down the left field line. Bryson Ware headed for second and extra bases. He's in standing up with a two-out double, his first hit of the day. Payoff pitch. Grounder into center. That sends Ware around third for an RBI single. Open. Pass caught out over the 30 to the 40. It's a long run for Caddis. The freshman down the near sideline. Dropped inside the 15. Pick up. Yeah, you, you have lost coverage in here, and the tight end, he does a nice job of just being able. Two down. You know, I was talking about. Came back with a strikeout. Close to home plate. Able to get that far down because of the shift. Bounce it to the right side. Warren has to back up. And Bonnie covering the bag to end the inning. So they flirt with trouble. One. Offensive rebound. Set up Akinjo again. That was Brown with the board. And Akinjo knocks down the three. 10 to shoot now for Carolina in the corner. Davis. Oh, Davis! Mm -hmm. A heat check. <laughs> and the temperature's still up. Clark. Nice he move. got stolen away by Doolittle. He trying to hold him off, but can't. Great read there by Doolittle. The round picked up by the enemy. He's got time. Here's James. He looks up and knows it. Nice Fires look. Fires it inside to Manic with a second to go. What a great look. And Manic showing the. Panera running upfield. Keeps himself churning ahead, and he'll get a nice pickup. Takes the ball ahead to the 43-yard line. Again, out of the shotgun. Snap comes back. White rolls the pocket. In trouble. He'll throw down field. The pass is caught. To own rebound. The put back in one. So it's just a matter of if Wake, is, Wake Force is in that zone, they've got to do a better job of, of finding bodies instead of space. And again, Mack is active on both ends of the floor. The block, and they try to reward her on the other end. And just like that, Kessler's right in this match at 157. Now, Kreiser does have that riding time advantage right now, but Jared Kessler with an opportunity as we near the end of the second. On for player. Strong move was not very assertive with the ball down in the post yesterday. 
Trent off the glass and Duke strikes first. Orchestrates so many things. They run so much through him at the offensive end and he just tied the game. Well, Carter looks smaller. Bamba again trying to back him down. As Bradford creates her own shot down on the block. Here comes Douglas. Gets underneath. Challenges Sundell and able to score over the 6-1. Launches, it's a two. He got a mismatch, Joyner did, when Uday had to switch off on that ice down action defensively. Off the bounce, Grady Nick shot wouldn't go, but Jalen Wilson, offensive rebound. McCuller 